Hi, and welcome to my channel. My name is Lynn, and today I am part of the Not Too Shabby Shop Stamp and Die of the Month hop here on YouTube. I'll tell you a little bit more about that in a bit. Let me first show you the stamp set. And as always, you do also have the option to get the coordinating dies that go along with it. This stamp set is super adorable. You have these three turkeys that are really, I just love their big heads and um, they're a really nice size. You could use, um, I think just one of them on a card and that would be more than sufficient as a nice focal image. But these turkeys are just so stinking cute that I really wanted a card design where I could showcase more than one. And so that's why I decided to choose the pyramid uh, fold card, which I think is also called a TP card <clears throat> or a TP fold. Super, super easy to put together. The base of your card is going to be three panels that are measured four inches uh, by four inches. And you want to just score it along the diagonal. So pick any corner um, and then score from that corner to the corner opposite it along the uh, diagonal so that you get a folded um, panel like this. For the mats and layers, there's a couple of different ways that, that I'll show you um, how I cut my triangles. So I'm going to double mat and actually have uh, two layers of pattern paper. The larger mat is cut to three and seven eighths um, by three and seven eighths. So another square uh, piece. And then instead of just scoring and folding on that diagonal, I just cut along the diagonal. So that gives you two um, triangle panels. Now, after I did that the first time, I realized I actually don't want all three of my sides to uh, feature the same pattern paper. Instead, I actually wanted to mix it up a little bit and use different colors that coordinate, but, um, but that way each side is a little bit different. And so as you can see with this piece of six by six here, I've only just taken out that that corner uh, that I needed. And generally that's that's how I prefer to cut down my pattern papers is I like to take as little off uh, as possible. That way I have a larger piece to work with the next time I go to use this pattern paper. So the other way that you can um, cut your triangles is do what I've done here. I've just marked along um, two edges the same length. And then in my trimmer, I just lined up those two pencil marks along the cutting track. And once you have one little triangle figured out, you can then um, skip the pencil marks and then just use one of those triangles like I'm doing here and line up that edge with um, <clears throat> on another piece of pattern paper. So and there's a there's a few different ways that you can do this, and I'll show you yet another way in um in a little bit. But I actually prefer to cut down this way because then, as I mentioned, you you kind of save a little bit more of your um, pattern papers. However, if you are going to use the same um, mats and layers, the same um, pattern papers on each edge, then it's probably easier to cut the square and cut and then cut the square in half. So as I mentioned, I'm part of a hop. Um, I put on the screen a moment ago the N2S Turkey Day hashtag. You'll want to search for that um, here on YouTube and you'll see all of the amazing inspiration that some of my teammates have created featuring this Stampin' Die set. So be sure to check out everybody's video, like and leave a comment on their video. I'm sure they would also appreciate as would I if you subscribe to our channels as well. And when you're done hopping, um, 
return to any of our videos, you should find in the description box a Rafflecopter link. And you'll want to enter your information into the Rafflecopter site in order to be in for a chance to win the gift certificate that the Not Too Shabby Shop is giving away. So the uh, last method that I used for cutting my triangle, as you saw a moment ago, was to actually use my envelope maker because it does have that accessory plate that is angled at that perfect 45 degree angle to create this um, triangle piece here. So you can always use that as well. Now, when it comes time to putting your panels together, I like to put all of my mats and layers on first. Then what I like to do is identify the panel that I want to be the front and then attach the other two panels to the back of that. That way the seam and the closure for your pyramid card is on the back. And as just an easy closure, I'm just using a little um, Velcro dot. Well, it's not the brand Velcro hook and loop, I think is what you're supposed to call it in the generic sense. And I just got those at the Dollar Tree. My local dollar store had it. So now that everything is assembled, I will decorate all three sides of my pyramid card with all of these really fun um, characters and <laughs> these little turkeys from the Stampin' Die of the month. Now, I did go ahead and um, stamp and color everything, including a lot of the little fall accessories like the pumpkin. We get a lot of different leaves and the acorn as well. So this isn't strictly, it doesn't have to strictly be for Thanksgiving um, because we also get two different sentiments too. One is happy turkey day, but the other one is give thanks. So, you know, Definitely great for Thanksgiving, but you could also use some of these images. And that's what I've chosen for my third panel. Instead of featuring a the third turkey, I thought maybe I'll just make this side just a little bit more fall themed. So I've got the pumpkin. I've got some of the... Um, really cute leaves and um and I've colored them all sort of um all different colors so there's some green leaves there's some yellow brown some reddish leaves that way I can just kind of tuck them in and since I am using my um I used my low profile foam to attach my pumpkin there's still some room underneath to sort of tuck um, these leaves right under there. And what's wonderful about the coordinating die set is you also get the dies for the sentiments as well. So I love that we have dies basically for everything that you see, um, every stamp that you have on this. And so go ahead and put my happy turkey day on the front of my card. And I wanted to give this a last look just to see what else I could add. And this panel here I thought was a little bit um, sparse because the other turkey has the sentiment and um, the little hat and so <clears throat> I thought this turkey could use a little little bit of um, sprucing up as well so I've, I'm using a combination of my liquid glue and my 3D uh, Kalau glue gel because it just gives me a lot especially the glue gel gives me a lot of um, time to nudge it around because that glue gel is serving a couple purposes. It's um, helping me to kind of get everything nice and level, but because it takes a, a little while to dry, I can kind of move things around a little if I'm not 100% happy with where they are initially. So here's a final look at my card today. I hope that you enjoyed this. It will fold down nice and flat and be um, easy to pop into the mail if you are sending it. Don't forget to check out everybody else's video along this hop. You want to search for hashtag N2S Turkey Day. There'll be a link in the um, title of this video as well if you want to just click that. Thank you again, and until next time, happy crafting and happy hopping. Bye.